Low, I'll tell you what, and wake up tomorrow, that sun shining, and we'll be okay shape here as we make our way toward the weekend. Busy time of year, graduations, got early pool parties, maybe the water's still a little cold. Strawberries starting to come uh, and start to ripen up across the region, and our temperatures today were close to 80. It's kind of what you see is what you get for the next four days. We'll basically be within the three degrees or so of what we saw today. Looking at the month so far, pretty typical stuff for early June. I think that trend will continue. Mild night, we're still in the 60s in many spots, and 50s toward Cape Cod and the islands and generally a nice seasonable air mass all across the Northeast. In fact, across much of the country at this point, a lot of the storminess staying across the Gulf Coast states, they could use it. You know, one of the only spots in the country that's been fairly dry is the Southeast, and so that rain will be beneficial after a really searing hot stretch over the last couple of weeks. For us here at home, just nice, so a little bit of lingering cloud cover, some patchy low clouds mixing with the sun tomorrow morning, but we'll be in the low 60s out the door, well into the 70s in the afternoon, topping 80 for most inland spots. Not a lot of wind tomorrow. Tomorrow. Without much wind, likely a sea breeze will kick in during the afternoon. So if you're at the coast, you want the warmest part of the day, midday to early afternoon before that wind starts to come around on shore. It'll be cooler there for sure as we head into the evening. High temps just topping 80 for all those inland spots. A little cooler across the highest elevations, reaching the 70s along the water before that cooler air rushes in. But the water is starting to warm up, and so those sea breezes start to hurt a little bit less this time of year. What else can you say heading into the weekend? The big blue H is in control. Just lots Lots of sun sitting right over the top of us for Saturday as well as Sunday, and it should hold into Monday before our next chance of rain arrives. So the weekend, near 80 both days, should be a touch warmer on Sunday versus Saturday. We'll look at sea breezes developing on Saturday afternoon again, and a little bit of a southerly breeze on Sunday, so our cool spot locally should be toward the south coast and the Cape. In terms of dew points, we'll see some drier air take a little bit more of a hold tomorrow, and through the course of the weekend, those dew points will stay lower, seasonably so. So I'm not expecting humidity to be a big factor for us here. For any outdoor activities, near 70 on the Cape over the next several days. Lots of sun. Red Sox returning home. Big series against the Rays. And boy, it's nice to just get out of April and early May and turn the corner where the weather's a little bit more reliable. You got a ticket out of Fenway Park, and that'll be the case for the next few. Heading up toward the Lakes region, same type of story. There's a slight chance of a passing shower tomorrow afternoon, mostly up toward the White Mountains. Otherwise, it's totally dry and well into the 70s and basically pure sunshine. Yard work, yeah, we got that. Green lights all the way across Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and the max time to enjoy. Uh, we have sunset at 819 tomorrow night, getting close to the summer solstice in a couple of weeks. Yes, it does start to get a little bit less in terms of daylight after June 21st, but you barely notice it until we're pretty deep into the month of August. So there's your full seven day. Our next chance for some of that rainfall, and we'll probably need it by then, is Monday night into Tuesday. Should see some humidity returning along with that, drying out on Wednesday before another shot on Thursday. It looks like a little bit more of an active second half of the week next week.